Okay, hello everybody. Okay, so in the live I did yesterday, um, I was asked to do a read on Gabby Petito. Okay, now I have heard a little bit of what is going on with this case. I generally do not want to know anything about the case before I read it. But as I was doing the Lori Vallow thing last night at about six o'clock, um, the people in the chat were, were asking me to do this. And I, and I did see, I'm, you know, you guys know me, I'm very forthright. Um, I did see in the chat people mentioning some stuff about this case. So I did ask them to stop because I didn't want any more information than what I seen there. Um, actually, that was even a little too much for me, but that's okay. Um, it wasn't expected. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do, and you guys know my ancestor deck. I'll get my things out of my way here. I'm going to do a read and see what we can find out. Now, I do know that there are some things that are out already. Apparently, the boyfriend or husband, whatever he is with her, um, is home, but she is not. Um, from what I understand, they were YouTubers and they were going on a cross-country journey and documenting it. Okay, so um, I do know that. And apparently she is missing, that he came home and she didn't. So something amongst their travels, something happened. Um, now, I think they were saying that this is a very recent case, maybe over the last few days. I'm not sure, you guys. I will go um, onto Google after and see what information I can find. Well, I won't personally, but I will have some people of mine um, go in and see what they can find and send me over that information so I can include it in the description. Um, there was also, I got, there was some emails that, I'm sorry if you did email me, there, the emails are still sitting there. I have not opened them um, regarding this case and some information regarding the case. I don't want to open them, you guys, um, until after I've done the read. So please don't take that personally. It's just, I, I fear that there could be a lot of information in there that I don't want right now. So no disrespect to you guys, but, and I know um, a lot of people send me information on different cases and I do appreciate each and every one of you. Um, I do have several people that gather information for me about cases and email that to me. Um, and I've seen that they have done that for me again. So I want to thank you. But I just, I, everybody knows I check my emails in the morning, um, especially recent ones on cases I'm working on. But I just did not want to reply to them this morning because I didn't want to see the information. So that's why I have not even opened it or replied to you yet. Okay. But I will once I'm done this read. Okay. So it's early in the morning. Um, I did finally get a good night's sleep. I, and before I start this read to you guys, the poll that I put up last night, um, I'm going to redo it. I'm going to take that one down. I'm an idiot. Um, I should have realized I'm seasoned in this. I should have realized, but I was overtired. Um, I wanted you guys to give me an answer what you think Chad was going to do and what you think Lori was going to do. And I put it all in one poll. You can only choose one. So it's like somebody, somebody commented this morning and said, well, I think Chad's going to do this and Lori's going to do that. Yes, that's what I wanted. And I put it all in one poll. Not real. Well, I know, but it didn't hit me at the time I was doing the poll. They can only answer one. They can only pick one of those. So they couldn't give me an answer on both. They could only give me an answer on one. So I'm going to redo that poll, you guys. Please forgive me. I dodged the rotten tomatoes this morning. Um, but yeah, I was really tired. I should have waited, but you guys wanted that poll up. So I will redo it as this is uploading. And... Um, so there'll be two. There'll be one for what you think Chad is gonna, Chad's gonna do, and what you think Lori's gonna do. There'll be two polls. So please go and put your your uh, choice in for that because I, I'm anxious to see what everybody is thinking. <clears throat> so we're gonna get into this, you guys. Um, Gabby Petito, please 
don't crucify me if I'm not saying her, her name right. Um, I know somebody in chat last night even put it out so I could say it properly. And like I said last night, you guys, I was going running on two hours sleep in two days. Very tired. So I am sorry if I am pronouncing the name wrong. Somebody will correct me. We got a lot of trolls lately. So, okay, so... Let's get this started. If you guys haven't seen the Ancestor Reads before, this is a deck that was specially made for me um, by my ancestors. I feel very connected to it because I rely on um, information coming to me from my ancestors. So I don't have to rely on spirit from whoever I'm reading, uh, although that does come into to, you know, place a factor there. I don't have to work with spirits unfamiliar with me. I work with my ancestors and my ancestors give me what they are getting. Okay. So any cards that do pop out when I am doing the read, I'm going to um, keep them out and put them to the side. They will be read at the end. I believe that that is whoever I am reading has something more that they would like to add to the read that they do not believe is going to come out in the read. It also gives us a little bit more clarification. Okay. So let's get into this, you guys. If you haven't subscribed, please hit that subscribe button. Hit the notification bell so you are made aware when I do updated reads. And when I go live, I will be going live this afternoon with, um, or no, not today, tomorrow, with the Barry Morphew um, decision from the judge. So watch for that tomorrow afternoon. I will be going live with that. Okay, so asking my ancestors to please connect with Gabby Petito and her spirit guides, her guardian angels. Ask Archangel Michael, Archangel Gabriel, please come forward. Please help us to find out what is going on and what has happened with Gabby Petito. So ancestors for the situation regarding Gabby Petito. Ancestors for the situation regarding Gabby Petito. Okay. Okay, so this is the situation. So what we have is we have something about happy, we have something about control, and we have something about trust, okay? So for those who have not seen these reads before, this is gonna be the main part of the situation. This is gonna be what we need to look into deeper, and this is in the secret, hidden, unknown, okay? So when this all comes out, you will see how it lays out. But this is going to be the main part of the situation when we have the other cards come out. Once all the cards are out, then we go in for clarification on the cards, which generally brings us a lot more information. Okay, so right away, in the main part of the situation, I see somebody overall fairly happy. Happy maybe with what was going on, happy with the situation. But this is the main part, So, or this could have been like a happy time, but we will get more information on this. Okay. It's going to all make sense. It's going to all come together. It may come together more for you guys than me, because you know a lot more about this situation than I do. Okay. With what we got to look into deeper, I've got something about control. So this has to be looked into deeper in the secret hidden position, things that are not known yet, things that are being kept hidden, kept secret. I've got something about trust. Now, this could be this could be good. This could be bad. Okay? It all depends on what comes out. Okay? So now we will go in for the messages regarding Gabby Petito so we can figure out why these cards are here. And there's one card that's already flown out. We will keep that out and find out what messages that Gabby has for us. I ask my ancestors to please receive the messages from Gabby Petito as to what happened with her. Can she give us any information that may help in finding her? What, whoops. 
that's another card that just came out you guys went flying out um what is going on with her any messages from from gabby to to bring this together for us let us know what happened to her where she could be found maybe there's another one my ancestors for the messages regarding gabby petito what happened to you gabby okay i got stop so when i get intuitively i'm getting my ancestors telling me stop that's where i stop okay so i will explain this too to you guys okay so these are the messages this is the head okay this connects this way this way and this way okay this is the main part of the situation this is going to tell us exactly what has happened and why or why this has happened okay so this is the, the biggest part right here, you guys. This is a situation across the bottom here, and this is the main part. So this is what we really have to pay attention to. These here are just going to help clarify what happened and the situation. So at the top, I've got honest. So this could be just like the trust card. This could be good or bad. It depends on what we come out with the clarification cards, what comes out. But right now, I'm seeing that there was something about... I'm getting somebody wasn't being honest. Okay. I've also got the three. The three is a, a collaboration. So the three could mean many different things. It's going to depend on what comes out to clarify this three. This could be um, there was three people. This could be um, there was three incidences. This could be three days, three weeks, three months, three years. It's three of something. Okay. It's a collaboration. When you get three, it's a collaboration of something. So it could be people. It could be times. It could be things. We don't know yet. Wait until we get the clarification and this is going to make some more sense. Okay. But I'm seeing right now that there was some kind of dishonesty. And it has to do with this collaboration of some type. I've also got wealth. Okay. Now wealth doesn't necessarily have to um be pinpointed to money this could be many different things like somebody's way of life somebody's um possessions it could be a lot of things that's why we go in for clarification cards on this but so now we are getting okay main part of the situation we got something about honest i, I believe somebody wasn't being honest maybe about some issues here with the wealth I've got the three and I've got happy. So right now, from what I'm seeing in the main part of the situation here, is something came about. It had to do with somebody not being honest over wealth and somebody not happy about the situation. Okay, so there's some kind of something going on here. Okay. We are going to get clarification on this and find out what that is. But right now, with this, this is the main part of the situation. And across the bottom, it's not looking good to me because I have control and trust in the secret. Okay? Um, even though we have a happy and honest here, because of where they are situated, it changes what... what you would normally think of honest and happy okay but we're going to get into that and i'm also getting intuitively for my ancestors my ancestors are going to connect with um what's her name gabby and they relay the information that they're getting to me in a way that i can understand it because they show me things that i have experienced with certain people in my life and i try and put that together as to how it would pertain to this Okay, so with what we got to look into deeper, and that's why we go in for clarification, with what we got to look into deeper, we've got the honest again, and we've got the hope at the end. Now, 
generally when I get this in the middle or beginning of the reading, it tells me that somebody has all kinds of hope. They're hopeful for their future. But when I get this at the end, this is somebody losing all hope. Okay. In between the beginning and the end, we've got something about control. Okay. So what I am getting here, you guys, so far, and this can change with when we get out the clarification cards, but with what I'm seeing here right now, this is in between the beginning and the end. This is the end. To me, that tells me somebody lost all hope. There was no way of getting away from this. You see the ladder. This is like a hole, but there's a ladder there with being able to climb out. When this is at the end, this tells me somebody's lost all hope. And I've got this control. So somebody, what I'm seeing right now is somebody has gained control of something. And all hope was lost. Um, and this is what we've got to look into deeper. Because over here, I'm seeing somebody not being honest. There's a collaboration here and it has to do with wealth. And I believe this is... Maybe somebody was happy at one time, but this turned to, I can't speak, soon turned to unhappiness. Okay, but let's get, let's go on and then we will get clarification on all of this. Okay, again, so in this, in this situation, in this part of the, the situation here is what's hidden. What um, people could be lying about, um, what is not known yet, or things that are just hidden so the truth doesn't come out. And again, I've got the honest. Somebody is not being honest. I'm very drawn to somebody not being honest. And they're not being honest because they are keeping justice from coming. So when I get this, I feel like somebody is hiding from the officials to hide justice. Okay. Whoever this person is that's doing this, um, I think there was trust broken and this person cannot be tr trusted because they're not being honest. This is what I'm getting right here. Somebody is trying to cover up justice. I think somebody's lying even to the officials about what actually happened. They're doing that because they are trying to escape justice. Because the official is covering the justice. So which means this is being covered. Justice is being covered with the official. So when I got the honest and the trust here, that tells me somebody is not being honest. So they can't be trusted, whoever this is. So let's go in for clarification. We're going to go in first on these three bottom cards. So I ask the ancestors, please, for clarification on the happy control and trust in the situation regarding Gabby Petito. I hope I'm saying her name right, you guys. Um, my ancestors know who I'm speaking about. So can you please give us clarification into the situation regarding Gabby Petito? What is going on? Why is the happy control and trust there? What is going on with her? What has happened to her? Can you please give this clarification on the happy control and the trust? Oops, I dropped that, you guys. Okay. See, look at that right off the hop. The hop. Remember I told you before this even came out, that I felt this, the happiness was turned to somebody being unhappy. See this? Again. Okay. So, what I have, and we're reading it this way now, okay? We will read it the other way and connect it all, but right now we are reading it across. So, in the main part of the position, we have somebody that this started off very happy, and it started, it ended with this sadness and crying. If you remember before this card even came out, I said to me, somebody started not being honest. And this happy ended in 
being unhappy. And here it is. So whatever happened there, we will get into it. It didn't end well. Okay. Somebody um, where something started that was supposed to be a very happy thing that was going on. It ended up with sadness and crying. <clears throat> Let me just take a drink of my coffee here. Okay, with what we got to look into deeper, you see that we have the wealth in the main part of the situation here. It brings it up here again, and I've got it with the control. So, somebody wanted control over all the assets. Now, this could be money, vehicles, um, homes, any assets that this couple had, somebody wanted control over it. And I think that there was a lot of arguing about this. Um, like I said, this started all happy. It turned to sadness. And I believe it's somebody who was not, who, who was not being honest anymore, who broke trust, wanted control over all these assets. Okay. Um, let me just, I got to take off my sweater, you guys, because it is very, getting very hot in here. So please let me just take off my sweater there. Whew. Sorry about that, guys. Okay, so this is what we got to look into deeper. There was some kind of control. Somebody wanted control over all the assets. Now, I do know that they were YouTubers. So this could be that one of them wanted full control over everything and the other one was having nothing to do with it. Or somebody gained control over all of this. Did something maybe with these assets um, and wasn't being honest about it because we've got honest at the head with what we got to look into deeper, okay? So I don't know if this road trip that they were taking um, was to bank a bunch of money to maybe buy a home or, you know, whatever it was for. Um, somebody gained control over those assets, over all of the assets and was not being honest about it. And I think one of the one of them found out. But what was supposed to be a happy time turned into sadness and crying. So... I think it has a lot to do with this here. And here I'm, I'm seeing I got celebrate on the trust. Okay. So when I get this with the trust, this is something that should be a happy time. A celebrate could be anything. It could be a birthday. It could be, could be this trip that they were on, right? <clears throat> Sorry, I can't mute myself. I'm on, I'm recording this. So um, my camera is way over there, so I can't even hit mute, so I'm very sorry. Somebody's trust was broken. Something that should have been a very happy time, you see it here. Somebody broke the trust, and I, I believe it had to do with the assets. Okay? Now, don't forget, the assets could be a lot of things. It could be um, something he did maybe with their home. Because I know that he is home, she is missing. So I am assuming, and I'm only assuming at this part, point until I get everything out. Um, I'm assuming it's him because I'm getting very much a male figure. Um, took control over all of the assets, money, home, vehicle, um, uh, possessions. Took control and wasn't being honest about how he gained this control over this. I think she found out and she wasn't happy about it. So what was supposed to be like a happy time to be celebrated, they're going on this beautiful trip across country. It turned into trust being broken, um, somebody being dishonest and somebody taking control over stuff. Um, and it turned out not the way it should have. Okay. So let's go in now for the clarification on this. This is where it's all going to come together, you guys. So I'm going to ask now for clarification on the messages. Ask my ancestors, please, for clarification into the messages regarding Gabby Petito. Asking for clarification into the messages regarding Gabby Petito. So my ancestors, for clarification, please tell us where we can find you, Gabby. Are you okay? Where can we find you? Any information you can give us to help find you? Okay. 
Okay. Okay, let's start at the head. This is the head. It attaches to each row. Somebody wasn't being honest and I feel that she is trapped somewhere or was trapped. I almost feel like she was brought somewhere um, I don't know what this cross-country trip was about, but I feel that he wasn't honest about where they were going and he trapped her. Because I feel trapped and I, and I get dead end. I don't know if you guys can see it, see the dead end up here. Um, I feel that she was brought somewhere and she was trapped, okay? I've got a collaboration of three. Now, I don't know if he was older than her, but I'm getting there's some kind of collaboration and I've got the grandparent card. So I believe that there are two other people and I'm not saying this is his grandparents, but I believe this is two people, parents, parent-like figures, grandparents, um, two people that are much older than he is that know about what happened because this is a collaboration of three. So I do believe that there are two people, maybe parents, parent-like figures or grandparents that know exactly what happened, that he is told. I got a collaboration of three. I've also got that somebody is hiding behind a mask. So I don't believe that he's even telling these people the full story. He's really hiding behind a mask. I think he knows exactly what happened to her. And this has to do with, I believe this is money. Remember at the beginning I said, until everything comes out, I don't know, this could be any kind of wealth. This could be fame and fortune. This can be money. This could be um, possessions. Um, you know, it could be anything, but I'm now getting it is money. And I do have the dollar sign here too. He is hiding behind a mask. So there's a lot of things that this person is hiding. Um, but I do believe that he has confided in two people, either parents, parent-like figures, or grandparents that are much older than him. Um, and I see her still sad and, and crying. Um, I think this started off very happy and it ended in tears. Um, I feel she is trapped or was trapped. I'm not, other than the grave and the, we'll see what comes out over there, you guys. Um, I'll talk about that when we get there, okay? Because that's, it's concerning to me. Let's go into what's being hidden, okay? Don't forget, this here is this part of the situation this way. It's in between the beginning and the end. This was all about control over the assets. So over the home, the money, vehicles, anything that was assets to them, this person wanted control over it <coughs> or had gained control and was not being honest with her about it. Um, and in the end, the secrets all came out. Okay. And I think this turned bad. What started as happy, a trusting, honest relationship. Um, I, knew, I do know they were YouTubers. I don't know if they were very popular or what. I don't know anything about them in their personal life. But what was supposed to be something very happy turned very sad. I believe that there was some arguing, possibly some fighting, because one of them got control over everything all the assets hiding behind a mask about this so maybe she found out about it but there are secrets that came out and that's why 
this happened. And you see here where I've got in this, this hole where she lost hope. This is at the end. This hope is at the end. This is at the head. She was trapped. No more hope. So I am believing the grave is going to be that she is buried somewhere. I've also got this, so I do believe it's going to be in something. Thrown in something, maybe. But she's down deep. She's in something. And she was trapped there. Now, I don't know if... Um, I can't... I know what I'm feeling. And this is all, in my opinion, only, you guys. I am feeling she is gone. I've got the grave. But the grave can also mean something is covered up. But the reason why I am getting the feeling that she is no longer with us in the physical world is because all hope was gone. I see her. This is, remember what I said at the beginning when this came out? It's a ladder. It's down deep. But there's a ladder getting out. But I'm getting that this was all hope was gone. Then we got the trapped. So she's tra she was trapped down in there. There was no way she could get out of this. And that's the secret. There's secrets regarding this. How she got down there. There's secrets that's being hidden. Remember I said over here? Somebody's hiding stuff. Broke all trust. Broke this celebration. Um, and I've got here with what's in the secret position, you guys, is the broken honesty and her being trapped. Justice is being covered up. I am feeling, and this is my opinion only, that this not only represents justice being covered up, but I'm seeing a grave. I'm seeing that she is, if she is still alive at this point, she is trapped in this place. It's down. She's down in there. She can't get out. She's trapped. So if she is still alive, because this is the only indication right now that I have that she is deceased and the feeling that I'm getting from my ancestor. My ancestors are showing me deceased. But this is the only... Oh, I've got full body shivers. This is the only card that I have that would even clarify that with what I'm feeling. But this card also stands for when the, I don't have any violence or anything like that here to tell me by the cards that she is deceased it's a feeling i'm getting it's not coming out here in the cards the only thing that's coming out is she's lost hope she's she was down in something she's lost hope she's trapped so if she is still alive and and somebody's keeping this secret and it's over they want control of all the assets um and i believe she found that out I'm so sorry. She's trapped. If she is still alive, she is trapped down in something where she's lost all hope of getting out. Um, that's what I'm feeling. And my ancestors are throwing it at me saying, no, she's gone. She's gone. So she could very well be. I'm just not seeing the violence and that here with what we've got. But I am getting a grave. Rest in peace. But this card also stands for things being buried, covered up. So we'll see what comes out over, over there, you guys, with the cards that flew out. Um, but right now, I have to take this as justice being covered up. And I got that right from the beginning that somebody um, is probably lying to the officials who are maybe investigating this. They're covering it up. They don't want the truth to come out. They were very envious okay, of her, whoever this is, was very envious of her, lost the trust, okay? This person was not being honest with her and just wanted control over all the assets, okay? Um, again, this is in the end. This is in the beginning. So this is why this happened. So if she is still alive, you guys, I am feeling she's not. That's what my ancestors are giving me. Although it has not come out in the cards, I do believe she is gone. I believe that this was all over control of all the assets. 
So this is what happened in between. This is the beginning. This is the end. In the end, she found out all his secrets, what, what he was doing. And I believe it's the boyfriend. Um, found out all the secrets um, about the, him not being honest and the trust being broken. Um, hiding behind this mask with the wealth. Um, I just see that it didn't end well. This person wanted control over everything and this person is not being honest. So let's see what came out with the cards that flew out while we were, we were shuffling. Let's see what we can get from those. Okay, so the first card that we got is flowers. <sighs> flowers are talking about new growth. So, um, we've got three here, you guys. So what I am getting with the flowers and the new growth, this person wanted something different. I think this person wanted this all to themselves. All to themselves. Oh, gosh. Okay. This is the goodbye to the physical world. She is no longer with us. Okay. And if you remember what I said, the cards that fly out, um, I believe that that is the person I'm reading, that they have something to share that they don't think is going to come out in the cards. She is, has passed. And this is my opinion only of my read and what I am getting from my read and my ancestors. Uh, this is a goodbye to the physical world. So what I was feeling here, look at goosebumps. And I should trust what my ancestors are telling me. Um, I was kind of concerned because... Um, with what the ancestors were telling me and what was coming out, I seen a lot of dishonesty, a lot of control over assets, a lot of broken trust, um, hiding behind the mask. Three people know about this. I seen her trapped, but she lost all hope. And then the secrets, but I didn't see violence until now. So I do believe that she could have been alive for some time because I've got the between worlds. So I do believe that, I do believe that there was some kind of, mm, I don't wanna say what I'm feeling, I should because I should have trusted my ancestors about this, but I'm, okay, let's go in for another clarification. Asking my ancestors, for the clarification on the goodbye, what happened? Um, was she just thrown into something and left there to die? Or was there any violence caused towards her to cause her death? And then she was thrown in there. Can you please give us, I guess we want clarification on the goodbye, the hope and the trap. What is going on with that? Was she, was she alive for some time before See that that flipped over? We got a fight that happened. What happened with this trap? The hope, the losing hope and party of three. Three people know about this, you guys. That's going to go right up there with the three. Three. Party of three. Three people know about this. Okay, so <laughs> we know that there was a fight. And I believe it was over this. The control of the assets. Somebody not being honest. The trust being broken. This person hiding behind a mask with the wealth. Which I believe is, is this. I believe she found out. Okay? I do believe she found out. So it, from happy to sad, secrets came out. There was a fight about it. Sorry, you guys, there's one here. Oh, there's three. Okay. So, here we go. I asked why, what happened here. Okay, there was a fight over the stealing. So, I do believe that somebody was not being honest and was trying to take control of all the assets. She wanted it to stop. And 
the elect tells me that this he chose to do this. I believe that the boyfriend is involved. I believe that it is all over control of the assets. I believe that, and it did come out when I asked for more clarification that there is a fight, there was a fight that happened about the stealing of these assets. But, you know, she just wanted it to stop. Like, stop it. Like, you're choosing to do this. The elect tells me about choices. Choosing specific choices or people. She wanted it to stop. She accused him of stealing the assets and trying to gain control over it somehow. So I believe that this should be looked into. Whatever the assets are, she is bringing it forward about the money, the home, the vehicle, their assets. She's bringing that forward. He wanted control over all of it. But she has lost, left the physical world. And there was a fight over stealing. She wanted it to stop. So I believe that this needs to be looked into. This needs to be looked into. The money aspect and the home, the vehicle. She's bringing that forward. But... I do believe that she is past, but she is telling me that she was trapped and gave up hope. So she's down in something. And this person is covering up. And like I said, this is my opinion, my opinion only on my read, what I'm getting from my ancestor and what I'm getting from my cards. I believe it's being covered up. And I believe that there is a party of three that know exactly what happened. There's two people that are older, much older. That's what the grandparents card stands for. Older, much older. So there's two people that are much older than this couple that know or have been told. Three is a collaboration. And I've got the party of three here too. So this would be the perpetrator and this would be the two people he told. So I'm going to leave this here, you guys. I am going to um, see what people have emailed me about this case and what they have found out. Um, I do know I get a lot of information sent to me. Um, I, I have a select couple of people that I trust with the information that they give me. So I'm going to go and read their emails and um, any links because I have a hard time finding information out. It, from Canada. I don't even know where this happened, you guys, right now. I don't even know what state, if it's in the States, if it's somewhere else. I don't even know that right now. But I will get that information and I will put it in the description below, any information that is given to me. And um, and like I said, it's got to come from, the, I've got three or four people there that send me information that I get them to verify it first before we put it out. So, or they send me like their thoughts but and i will google this and see um what if anything i can get from the news media to see what is going on here okay it will all be in the description below okay so again if you have not subscribed please hit that subscribe button hit the notification bell so you're made aware when i go live and please give us a like <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. Yeah. So what we will do, you guys, is I'm going to get this video uploaded. I want to do the redo the poll for you guys and put it correctly on the channel. That will be under the community tab. Um, I will do that and get this uploaded and get together the information for this video. So it will be. Um, quite a few hours before I get this up and public to you. Okay, so with that being said, thank you for watching. Um, prayers go out to Gabby's family and friends. And like I said, this is in my opinion only from what I got from my ancestors and my cards. Um, so until the next time, you guys, please take care of yourselves. Please stay safe and love you to the moon and back. Bye-bye for now.